Under modeling Miller what happened the investor cannot buy and sell in the same term is within a year they cannot buy and sell it is not a short term there is no changes in the formula if tax is there it will be 1 minus tax if tax is not there 1 minus tax will not be there x is unlevered means without debenture y is levered means with debenture so remember wherever we use v u this is unlevered wherever we use v l it is levered hello everyone this is your other sir here lecturing with yashram first grade college the temple of excellence and now we are in the session 11 of your topic called financial management and financial management in that we are discussing capital structure now still we are in the session 11 and almost we are end of this session now we have two methods like modigling miller as well as traditional method those things we have to discuss in today's session we'll go for the next slide before we go to problem, we'll understand the concept. What is modeling Miller or MM approach? MM approach or modeling any Miller approach, MM. Now, in the question paper, clearly they will mention that what is MM approach. Now, under assumptions we have, there are no corporate tax. This may be removed later. So corporate tax won't be there in modeling Miller approach. And the second concept, there is perfect capital market. This signifies there are uniform distribution of all information among all the rational investors. There are no transaction cost and investor can borrow or lend in the same terms. Under Modigli Miller, what happened? The investor cannot buy and sell in the same term is within a year, they cannot buy and sell. It is not a short term. Then information among all the rational investors there are no transaction cost and investor there is no transaction cost for your modeling miller what is the first thing there is no corporate taxation second one it is a uniform one and the third one there is no cost of transaction and the fourth one there is no buying and selling of anything within a term then all investors have some expectation of the companies operating profit and accordingly to evaluate the company now all the investor will get whatever operating profit earned by the company some part will transfer to will go to whom investors then dividend payoff ratio is always 100 percent there is no retained earning what is retained earning like company got profit of ten thousand all ten thousand will go to whom investors are all the shareholders now but some companies what they will do whatever they have earned in that some 25 percent they'll keep it as retained earning or nothing but savings and balance 75 percent will be distributed to investor or shareholder then dividend payoff ratio is over business risk are equal amount all companies within similar operating environment. These are the major assumption we are supposed to remember. Basic proportions of MM approach. Today we all talk about MM approach only so that you will understand better. Now, once we done with your theory concept, we'll work out almost two to three problems on MM approach so that you will understand better what kind of formulas will be there, what kind of calculation will be there, everything you will understand better. Now, the overall cost of capital, we call it as KO and the value of the firm B are independent of the capital structure. Your cost of capital as well as the value of the firm both are independent. This means that cost of capital and B will remain constant irrespective degree of leverage. Leverage means what? Debentures, loan. Leverage in the sense loan. Then the cost of equity KE is equal to capitalization rate for the pure equity plus premium. See, 
some investment or how it happens there is no leverage only no leverage means what normally what happens we have equity and debenture will be value of the firm sometimes what happens there will be only your equity there is no debenture there is no debenture then what happens this we call it as capitalization rate for the pure equity plus premium for financial there is no debentures only there is no leverage only now which increases with the increase in the proportion of the debt in the capital structure of the company hope you are clear yes along with that the cutoff rate for investment purpose is completely independent what is the cutoff rate it is completely independent then the way in which the investment is financed so these are the approaches if they ask for five marks theory what is mm approach you have to explain all this first you have to write assumption then approaches of mm now directly we'll go to formula now unlevered unlevered means what there is no debenture remember what is unlevered there is no debenture now under this capitalization rate unlevered firm what happens in this total market value of unlevered firm total market value of unlevered firm so it will be how much k o and value nothing but ebit divided by cost of equity then ebit 1 minus tax divided by cost of equity so k o is equal to k e and k o is equal to k e as there is no debenture there is no debenture but this is no tax this is with tax if there is tax it must be 1 minus tax if there is no tax ebit minus this one there is no changes in the formula if tax is there it will be 1 minus tax if tax is not there 1 minus tax will not be there hope you are clear yes now we'll go for capitalization rate or levered form. Levered form means what? With debenture. Just know what we discussed. This is without debenture. Now what we are discussing, this is with debenture. The same formula we will get EBIT divided by VL. So value and your it is no tax, it is with tax. If there is tax, you know that it will be 1 minus tax plus I, I in the sense interest. Similarly, EBIT minus I minus tax. So you will not understand better in this. While doing problem, you will understand better what the formula says about. Now, so this is for verification. The same thing we have done in the NOI approach the same verification we follow in this also so just for your reference if you want please take screenshot of formula we'll go for problems so there is an unlevered firm this is unlevered firm and this is levered firm levered firm in the sense with debenture now We'll go to problem number one, simple one. You may get five mark questions like this. Now, a company has EBIT of rupees 1 lakh. It expect return on investment 12.5%. Now, calculate total value of the firm under MM theory approach, Morigli Miller approach. Now, value is equal to EBIT, value is equal to EBIT divided by cost of equity now ebit is how much one lakh now what is your cost of equity 12.5 percent we can call it as 0 0.125 so your final answer will be what eight lakh any doubt no doubt your final answer we get eight lakh we'll go to problem number Two. Now, there are two forms X and Y which are exactly identical except X does not use any debt. Debt means what? Unlevered. With debt means levered. Now, 
in its financing while Y has rupees 1 lakh 5 percent debenture in its financing. Now, both the firm have EBIT rupees 25,000 and equity capitalization rate is 10 percent. Now, assuming the corporate tax of 50 percent, calculate the value of the firm under MM approach. These are the information we have X and Y. X is unlevered means without debenture. Y is levered means with debenture. How to go for this? They have not mentioned anywhere. Yes, they have mentioned that the tax rate is what? 50%. Tax rate we have 50%. Wherever we get tax rate, remember we have to do 1 minus tax rate. Now, so we'll go for the unlevered form. Unlevered form formula is very simple. I'll go back to your formula. I'll show you. See, with tax, unlevered, EBIT, 1 minus tax divided by cost of equity. In this, EBIT, 1 minus T divided by cost of equity. Yeah, what is your EBIT? I'll go back to your question. Your EBIT as per this, we have 25,000. Now, it is 25,000. 1 minus tax is 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.10. That is your 10%. So, how much you will get? After calculation, you will get 1,25,000. Hope you are clear. Good. We got 1,25,000 later. Your value is VU plus D into T. Now, what is your VU? VU, it is nothing but just know we got 1,25,000 value and plus debenture, debenture into tax rate. Your debenture value is around 1 lakh and your tax rate is 0 0.5. If you calculate this, you will get 1,75,000. Five thousand. Hope you are clear. One lakh twenty-five and one lakh seventy-five. Now, the same thing we have done here. One is for unlevered. One is for levered. Why? Because we have debentures. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, we'll go for the last problem. Problem number three, easiest one. Company U and L are identical. See, we have U also. We have L also. These are your 10 mark problem on modeling Miller approach. Now, every respect except the former does not use debt. So, one person, he does not use debt means there is no debenture unlevered. Now, in the capital structure, while we later employee 6 lakh of 16% debenture, assuming that all the MM assumptions, see, they have mentioned that M.M. Morley and Miller. Now, met the corporate tax is 35%. EBIT is rupees 2 lakh. The equity capitalization rate is unlevered company is around 20%. What will be the value of the firm U and L? And also determine the weighted average cost of capital VAC. Weighted average means VAC of the both the firms. Now, First thing, we'll go for normal one. So EBIT 1 minus T, cost of equity. This is nothing but unlevered. Unlevered means there is no dementia. Now, it is 2 lakh, 1 rupee, 35 paise, divided by cost of equity is 0 0.20. Your value is 6 lakh 50,000. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, it is unlevered. We are calculating for U. So, remember, wherever we use VU, this is unlevered. Wherever we use VL, it is levered. Hope you are clear. So, why we call it as VU and VL? VU stands for unlevered. VL stands for levered. Now, so your unlevered is over, we you value of unlevered form, value of levered form and V U plus D into T. Same thing what we did in the previous problem. 
six lakh fifty we got, and this value only we should take six lakh fifty thousand. Again, what is the debenture value? I'll go back. Your debenture value is six lakh. Six lakh into zero point three five. I got eight lakh sixty thousand. Hope you are clear. Good. We got eight lakh sixty thousand. Now we are done with all this calculation. And the last one, cost of equity, also we have to find out now. EBIT minus interest minus tax. Same formula we have. I'll show you. See EBIT cost of equity. How to find out? EBIT minus interest minus tax divided by value of levered minus debenture. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now. EBIT two lakh interest so six lakh into fifteen percent you will get around ninety thousand then one lakh ten thousand minus into thirty five percent your debenture value now value already we calculated it is eight lakh sixty thousand we have taken eight lakh sixty debenture is six lakh hope you are clear yes now so if you do all calculation you will get seven lakh fifteen divided by two lakh sixty You got zero point two seven five. Multiply with hundred. Why? Because we need final answer in percentage. We got twenty seven point five percent. Your cost of equity. In this, only thing you are supposed to do, you have to remember the formula. If you remember formula, everything is easy. But you are supposed to work out at home once. So we done with twenty seven point five percent. So. This is all about your today's session. If you want to take screenshot, please take. So these are the formulas, part one, formula part two. These are your problem number one with solution. Problem two, solution. Problem three, solution part one. Solution part two. Yes, this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood. So this is all about MM approach. We have gone for only five and ten mark problems today, and the next session will go for again ten mark problem, more problems on MM approach. Once we done with MM, we'll go for the next one, traditional approach.